so I decided to make this quick video about Cyberpunk and uh, what type of uh, what's the right type of graphics cards you will need to play at smooth 60 fps in high settings and high beautiful settings. Cyberpunk developers have uh, released the system requirements but they are kind of uh, misleading I guess because you will need a far beefier system in order to play this game. So it's been less than a week and Cyberpunk is out and it has taken the world by storm uh, and uh, millions and millions of people have downloaded it and when they downloaded this game they realized that their computers that can play lots of games perfectly fine is struggling to play Cyberpunk. Even people with beefy systems that can play 4K 60fps smoothly just cannot play Cyberpunk properly and it's struggling a lot on it. And along with that, lots of experience, lots of people are experiencing lots of bugs in it, but uh, it will get uh, fixed. So the uh, developers have mentioned that they are working hard on fixing these issues, and uh, things will get uh, much better with time. So let's go and see what type of GPUs they will need. This uh, data you are seeing is taken with Ultra preset in game. This game has multiple presets. We are using the Ultra preset in game, and uh, FPS is taken in the crowded city because this is where it pushes the GPUs to max. So let's start with 1080p 60fps. If you wish to play it at 1080 60fps you are going to need 5700 XT from AMD which gave us an average of 62fps and from the media side we got 2070 which gave us 63fps on average and 1080 Ti which gave us average fps of 55fps. You can uh, turn down a few settings from, high, uh, from uh, ultra to high and it will smooth out the FPS to 60 plus. Also there's a, there also 3060 Ti, so uh, I didn't have proper data for it so I didn't edit it but it will, uh, the 3060 Ti is uh, more comparable to a 2080 so it will give a better FPS than all the three cards mentioned here. Now let's go to 1080p 30 FPS. From AMD side, uh, 580 gave us 27 FPS, 590 gave us 32 FPS. From the media side, 1060 gave us 26 FPS and 1660 gave us 36 FPS average. So as you guys can see, the requirements published by developers were actually targeting 30 FPS, not, uh, not 60 FPS. That's why they are a little misleading. And um, I guess that because lots of developers actually do this. Now let's go to 2K resolution or Quad HD. On 2K, 6, for 2K 60fps you are going to need 2080 Ti which will give an average of 63fps, a 3070 will give 60fps and from AMD side the 6800 will give 61fps. And if you wish to play at 30fps then 2060 Super will give 35fps and 1080 Ti will give 35fps and GeForce 1080 will give 28fps which is quite strange actually. Uh, there is a lot of difference between uh, 1080 and 1080 Ti but what do you know. Now let's go to 5600 XT and it gives 31 FPS from, and this is from Nvidia, I mean sorry this is from AMD. Alright so this was for 2K Quad HD, now let's go to 4K 60 FPS. Unfortunately the GeForce GTX 3090 which is the most powerful gaming GPU right now in the world which can play games at 8K resolution cannot play cyberpunk in 4k 60fps. If you wish to play it on 60fps either turn down the setting or turn on DLSS then you will be able to play 60fps but I will go to that later. First let's focus uh, on a retro thing of DLSS off. So 3090 GeForce will give 48fps and, and when it comes to 30fps we have couple of graphics cards that we can use. So for uh, so from AMD side, the 6800 and 6800 XT will give 32 and 35 FPS respectively average. And uh, from the media side, 3070 and 2080 Ti will give 31 and 32 FPS average. Okay, so now we will look at the ray tracing performance. Remember, in this test now we have ray tracing on and DLSS on. DLSS set to quality mode. The GeForce RTX 3090 will give you 42 FPS with same settings but in 2K or Quad HD 3090 will give you 75 FPS. So this is where I guess it comes into smooth 60 FPS gameplay. And for 1080p 
the RTX will give you 85 FPS. So as you can see, Cyberpunk is very, very heavy on system. So now let's take a look at MD cards. And unfortunately, right now, MD ray tracing is not supported. Also, the fidelity effect, which is basically DLSS on AMD cards, it's not also available right now. But in future patch, we will have data for ray tracing on AMD cards. And so until that, we have to wait for uh, wait for some time before we can uh, get uh, uh, get that type of data. All right. So before we finish this video, just uh, keep in mind that. Uh, uh, while the game is buggy and lots of people are saying that after a few pages FPS will improve, while the FPS will definitely improve, let me tell you, it will, it won't be much. For example, if you are getting 30 FPS on your current system, after a few pages you will get 35 FPS average. So the, really the performance really won't improve that much. Cyberpunk is a true next gen game, just like Crisis 1 was released. And when it got released, even the best systems at that time were struggling to play it. And Cyberpunk is the same thing. Lots of systems are now struggling to play this game properly. It's a true next gen game and it will look beautiful even after we play it. Like, um, even if when we play it in like 2028 or 2027, it's gonna look uh, pretty beautiful and updated. Maybe even in 2030s, it will look pretty beautiful. If you check and see Crisis 1 gameplay, you won't even think that wow this game was actually released in 2007 it's just the same as cyberpunk it's just very beautiful game and it's very taxing on hardware even on low settings it looks very beautiful anyhow i hope this video helped you guys and i will see you guys again in this city of dreams oh i love this town love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you gotta smoke for her every new day here means a hundred new arrivals but only half these gods will survive a year and that's if it's a good one and why do these peeps come to nc well to be street samurai like morgan blackhand and Wayland. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say.